Well, hello there, Cancer. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are going to be doing your weekly tarot. This is good for the week of July 25th through the 31st. So the last week of July, hard to believe. Um, so anyway, we'll do um, take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, so let's get into your reading. Let's see what we have here. Loyal heart and vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. Really um, <laughs> interesting energy. Um, you know, we think of the vulture. The vulture comes along when something, you know, some living uh, animal usually has has died um, and so the vulture is a very nice you know environmental creature because it cleans up um, the remains of animals that have passed away so there is nothing wasted the vulture helps us to realize that nothing is wasted there could be you know, a situation, a relationship that has come to an end. And yet, you know, there is this energy of, oh, I wasted all this time and energy in this relationship, but nothing is wasted. It's understanding that even if something didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to, that there is, you know, lessons, experience, wisdom that have been gained from that experience to um, not feel as if you have wasted your time with a certain situation or relationship, that you gained more out of it than you even recognize. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We're going to, yeah. Oh my goodness, back and forth, yeah. I mean, there's this energy of, you know, how to proceed, perhaps going back and forth you may feel like you may be in conflict with somebody right now i want to look at the bottom here happy happy you know you're you have i feel as if there's this conflict you're going back and forth about whether you end this relationship now it's almost like um that energy of you know um uh oh what is that the the energy of you know um minimizing your losses in a certain situation, right? Oh, I'm getting out now before I put any more time or energy in this. But look at what we have underneath here, discovery. No, the energy here is saying, no, don't, don't run away. Don't close this out quite yet because there is this discovery still yet to be made, perhaps in the situation. Joy is fun underneath there. You know, I feel like right now you may have a lot of dark thoughts about this situation. Not sure where it's going. You know, he's walking into a maze. Like, where is this leading me? Why am I spending time and energy on this? You may want to go and yet something, some energy is always brings you back. And you're kind of like, oh my goodness, I'm trying to close this out. It's because there's something here to yet still discover, either about yourself, relationships, the world, the universe, you know, connections. There's still something here, a golden nugget that you have not yet discovered in this situation. So you may be feeling like, why am I wasting any more <laughs> of my time or energy on this? I'm ready to move on. Um, oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Eight of wands on the bottom, you know, communication, taking action. There's a lot of anxiety. Somebody here is wanting to offer, you know, a cup of love or, you know, forgiveness, compassion, empathy, wanting your forgiveness, or, you know, you want their forgiveness. Either way, it doesn't matter. A sense of can we communicate with each other and yet at the same time being really anxious up in your head or, you know, vice versa. They could be up in their head, not really sure what is going on in this situation. Um, and that's part of this back and forth. You know, is this over? You may not be talking to this person at this time. You know, is this over or is it not? You know, um, 
because what we have here in your present is grateful for, you know, the judgment, having another opportunity to take a look at this again. I feel like this is coming back around. Um, there's, there's still something to be discovered in this relationship. So it's coming back around, another opportunity. This person could be reaching out to you with the Page of Cups. Hey, can we give this another try? I'm sorry. And, you know, the energy here is that you're grateful for the second shot. You're grateful for the opportunity to take a look at this situation once again. Re recognizing that nothing is wasted. Whenever we allow ourselves, perhaps, to stay loyal to our own heart and to seek out the happiness that we truly desire. I feel like part of this is listening to your own heart. What is it that you want out of this situation? What will bring you happy, happy? You may be, you know, saying, oh, I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm moving on. But I think part of you, if you keep coming back to it, Part of you is like, no, there's still more to discover in this relationship or situation. So let's clarify this because this is, yeah, King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, the truth. The truth is coming out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Judgment and the Six of Cups. Looking at the situation again. Having a second chance at it again. What's underneath that? Yeah, a lot of conflict. Just not really sure. Is this going to work out? I feel like you're, you're kind of saying, I don't want to put any more time or energy into this or the person you're dealing with is. But once again, nothing is wasted. I feel like the divine is saying, no, Give it another shot. There's something here that you're still going to learn out of this situation. I feel like this is, you know, you're you're finding the clarity that if, uh, okay, one, uh, this is interesting because you have the seven of pentacles planting the seeds. You're seeing the clarity about how, how your time and energy, you know, with the seven of swords, it's almost like you're holding yourself back from the clarity of the time and energy that you're putting into this and what you can discover out of it. It's almost like you're self-sabotaging yourself. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I want to re-enter this, uh, you know, this um, relationship, whatever this is. I'm afraid I don't want to do that. And the reason is, is because, I, yeah, I feel like you're, you're not sure that you deserve it. They deserve it. That there's anything else to learn from this situation. And yet the message is clear. Yes, there is something else to still garner from this relationship. Does not mean that you will reunite forever. Okay, but out of another conversation, another round with this person, there is another tidbit of information that you learn either about yourself, relationships, the universe, because your obstacle here is, you know, the Eight of Cups, understanding that this relationship is on your spiritual path, that you have your ascended master, spirit guides, angels guiding you on this. I feel like you're kind of um, thinking that you're having to do this all by yourself. Hmm. All by yourself. Why do you think you're doing this by yourself? I mean, they're, they're showing me this. He's panning for gold by himself. Or at least in this picture, there's nobody else. Almost like you, I feel like part of your spiritual path is that you may feel like you're the only one in this connection, whether it's just one other person or a group of people, 
that you're the only one that is panning for gold. Like maybe everybody else is just having fun in this situation. You know, they're splashing in the water. They're, you know, they're off taking a nap under a tree. And you're kind of like, I'm trying to tune in here. I'm trying to, <laughs> to learn the, the, the valuable lesson that nothing is wasted here. I'm looking for this golden nugget in this and everybody else is just having fun. Okay, I want to, um, I'm going to clarify this discovery because I, I, I'm taking this discovery as if almost you feel like you are doing it yourself. Wow, lots of night. Okay, Queen of Swords, finding that clarity, staying focused. Look at how both of these knights, okay, are facing the sun. This is how they came out. You know, the Knight of Swords is being determined. The Knight of Pentacles is that grounded um, energy that is slow but pro progressive, building a very solid foundation. Both of these are coming in towards the sun. Okay, what I feel like you're, you're not recognizing is that you may feel I'm the only one panning for gold. I am the only one doing the work in this uh, relationship. But what I'm getting is what you don't realize is that there are other people that also the sun is representing the happiness in this situation, the happy, happy, right? Whatever the happy, happy ha tends to be. It's like, no, there's other people that are working on this too. You may be clashing at times, okay? Because we had the five of wands. You may be clashing at times, but the truth of the matter is, is that even each clashing is bringing greater wisdom, knowledge, a deeper sense of yourself and, and connections, of more learning. Yeah, the moon, the nine of pentacles, the two of cups, page of wands. I feel like somebody's coming in. They, they want to help in... Uh, uh, rev up, <laughs> spark, if it, this is a romantic relationship, right? You, you're having a hard time understanding like, okay, there's the moon, um, Pisces energy, but you also are um, impacted by the moon. So there's this energy of you're on a divine, on a divine path. The divine is helping you at this time. You may feel like you're doing this in a solitary arena with the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is a single lady card, right? But you are headed towards a two of cups energy. Okay, so the message I'm getting is that if you are kind of in a romantic relationship that's seeing a lot of conflict or you're in a family situation that is seeing a lot of conflict, you may be ready to walk away from that at this time because you're like, I'm done. I'm done with all of that, right? The message here is no, go back, okay? Go back and rediscover there's another lesson, another golden nugget in this. By going back, um, and having another conversation or another round or whatever it is with this person or group of people, you are finding the golden nugget that will bring you much more happiness in perhaps that connection or a future connection. Because underneath I have new supportive um, connections. So it's almost as if you haven't quite yet learned everything you were meant to learn out of a past connection in order to move forward into something that is truly happy, okay? Really, um, it's a, it, and you know, it could be just temporary. Like you have to go and have one more conversation, close out the energy. Perhaps you just need to close out the energy. Hmm, interesting. Because your advice here is that you have great achievement and then the Six of Swords. I feel like the achievement here is actually looking at this situation one more time to discover whatever this is, this golden nugget, the lesson, nothing is wasted. You're, you're feeling like, no, I'm wasting my time in this connection. And they're saying, no, 
Nothing is ever wasted. When we are seeking true understanding, true understanding of ourselves or the other person or people that are involved in this situation, that is not time wasted. Because especially in this connection, it's going to bring you greater insight about how to move forward, okay? Whether that is, you know, leaving this connection for good or, you know, uh, having, uh, saying, okay, yes, I think I understand your perspective. Let's reunite. But you cannot, you cannot just move on. There's so, something here that you're really meant to still discover. <laughs> I know, Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, Three of Cups. Oh my goodness, Six of Swords. Being able to move on. I want to see what's underneath that. Yeah, the world, the High Priestess. Wow. Chariot, your energy. There's something here that has to come back together with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles is, you know, a very nurturing energy, um, a motherly energy, good spouse energy. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, King of Cups is kind of your energy there, Cancer. Uh, emotionally able to express yourself. I feel like there is this um, energy of, of coming together, of understanding, because we have the Three of Cups, something to celebrate. It's almost as if, this is really interesting, because the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles don't necessarily are a matched pair, right? I feel like there is something there in that. Is understanding, okay, we're not a matched pair. We're not the King and Queen of Cups or the King and Queen of Pentacles. And yet at the same time, there's a lot of grounded, loving energy in this connection. It's about how can we celebrate? What is the achievement we can make? I feel like you may not be on the same page about something. And yet at the same time, it's gaining the perspective of the other person that is possibly the, the golden nug nugget in this connection. So before you move on, okay? Um, it's about, okay, uh, we don't see things exactly the same way, but now I have a better understanding by coming back together, having another conversation. I can see your perspective and in that know it, knowledge of their perspective, okay, you can gain the insight that will help you to find your happy, happy. Whether it's with this person or not, okay, it doesn't matter. You're gaining a different perspective. You know, that's one of the hardest things for us on our soul's journey is understanding that there are a lot of perspectives. <laughs> and when we can open our mind to seeing things in a different perspective, we gain a lot of insight and wisdom about relationships and how we're all connected. I almost feel like that is what you are gaining here. You're gaining a different perspective with the high priestess. You're gaining a better intuitive understanding of how people are different and yet how we are all still the same. And it helps you to propel you into a much calmer because the six of swords is about moving from turbulent waters into calmer waters of moving into this new world a new chapter of understanding good things will come on your path because of this yeah king of pentacles very grounded energy wow really interesting because um once again, it may not, I want to see what's on the bottom here. Surrender now. Yeah, I think it is about surrendering to this journey. There could be a little bit in, I feel like your, your feelings are really hurt in a certain situation, Cancer. 
it could be that um, you feel as if somebody maybe hasn't, can't see your perspective of a certain situation, that your feelings are not being validated in a certain situation or vice versa. Both of you could be feeling that way. You know, I'm a pentacle and you're a cup. <laughs> you can't see things my way and I can't see things your way. Clash, clash. <laughs> and yeah, it's this energy of, now wait a minute, help me. I feel like there's this energy of, help me to understand your perspective. Of softening. I feel like there's a softening of the energy, a softening of the clashing. Because remember we had this. You know, we had the Knight of Pentacles and the Sun and the Knight of Swords. You know, both of the Knights, like I think both you and the other person want true happiness in this situation. I feel like you want the same thing. It's really interesting. You both want the same thing. You just have different approaches to it. One is perhaps a little bit slower, a little bit more grounded. The other one is just super determined. You have different approaches to finding the same happiness, to f maybe even finding the same outcome in the situation. And yet at the same time, you're, you're really clashing about the approach the other one has instead of what it is that you both want, you know? Okay, so they're giving me the scenario of um, if you've ever painted a wall and maybe painted it with somebody else, right? So, you know, when I paint, I go up and down and then I come back and go sideways, you know, and then go back up and down, like with the roller when you're doing a big wall, okay? It's almost as if, you know, you're, you're determined to paint this entire wall and you're doing it in sections, you know, this way, this way, and then, you know, finishing it off. And the other person is kind of like, yeah, I want to paint the wall too, but I'm going to go sideways first and then just go up and down. Okay. Because then I only have to do it twice. I don't have to do it three times. And you're kind of like, no, no, we, we have to do it the same way. Or they're saying, no, we have to do it the same way. In the end, okay, the wall is still going to be painted. In the end, the wall is going to look fabulous. In the end, you're going to be happy with the results. And yet you're arguing about how you get to that destination. It's about having a conversation. Well, why do you think that we have to do it this way first? Well, I think this. And then why do you have to do it this way first? Okay. It's almost as if you need to just get the perspective of the other person. Huh. What is my body telling me right now? This is really interesting because I feel as if there is this tension attention between the two of you so that you, you you're almost unable to see the perception of the other person so our body speaks to us through physical pain or discomfort our body sends messages for us to look more deeply see the trapped emotions the lurking fears and beliefs that limit you listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain it's time to get your healing on get the book Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay and find the answers towards which your body is guiding you. And that is a really lovely book. I'll put that up there so you can see that. Um, yeah, she wrote a really lovely book about how having pain in different parts of your body can help you to understand what you may need to heal within yourself. Because I feel as if there is this energy. I'm not putting any more time or energy in this. I'm done. But by doing that, you're actually not healing the emotions that you have in this, in this connection. This connection has a lot for you to still yet discover about yourself and about relationships. And 
Yes, Cancer, it may not be easy, but I feel in the end, it leads you to true happiness. So um, just keep that in mind. <laughs> just keep that in mind. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there. I do wish you so much love and light in this situation and all your situations. I do do personal readings if you're interested. The link is in the description box below. And um, I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.